I think that TV, and not just TV, but like popular culture in general, has a very, traditionally, a very binary approach to sexuality. You, you, you love labels. Labels are great. <laughs> You're, you're, you're gay or you're straight. And if, you, if you're one or the other, you tend to be very much one or the other. And you, you, you know the characters I'm talking about. Um, and I think that for most people, or at least for a, a large percentage of people, that is not the experience. The experience is not, you know, uh, one or seven. The experience is somewhere in between. There's, there's, a, there's a spectrum of it. These things are fluid. And I think for Taylor, that's where, at least, you know, at least for the run of the series, that's where he is. Is he's somewhere in the middle? And you know, his relationship with Evie, for example, is it's not a, it's not a facade. It's not this like carefully constructed lie to hide behind. It's genuine. He has genuine feelings for her. He's genuinely attracted to her. Um, uh, but on the other hand, you know, he has this. For example, in episodes six and seven, he has this kind of new boyfriend. He has. It's, he's obviously attracted to men. It, you know, there's 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 a gray zone there. And that's, that zone is where American crime lives, not just on this issue, but on every, on every issue. Um, and I think that's really interesting. And underrepresented, too.